Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I wanted to let you know about a scam that I saw in the wild today concerning Ledger and quantum computing. This is a total scam. It's trying to convince you that there have been new breakthroughs in quantum technology that are threatening the security of the Ledger device. This is a complete falsehood. However, it is a very well thought out and a well executed argument in an email. And so I'm going to go through that email with you step by step to show you just how wrong it is. And of course, at the very bottom of the email is a button that you can click to update your device. This is classic misdirection. This is a tried and true scheme. All it's going to do is have you follow a link that will eventually ask you to enter your 24-word backup phrase. I can't believe these scammers are still trying to trick people into revealing their seed phrase. This scam has been going on for years, but people still fall for it when the scammer dresses up the argument in a new narrative uh, which sounds convincing and plays upon people's fears and uncertainties and lack of knowledge about highly technical issues. So let's go through this email. I'm going to point out all the falsehoods and show you why you should never click a link like this. And then I'll talk a little bit about quantum computers and try to separate the hype from the realities. So let's jump in. All right, so here's the email that I received this morning. It appears to be from Ledger. Uh, your first red flag is that this is not uh, a Ledger domain, right? All you have to do is look at where the email is coming from. This does not say at ledger.com. Um, it says Ledger Live in the beginning, but uh, they can put anything they want in the beginning of the email. The uh, end of the email is where you really should look for your um, information about where the email came from. And this is not from ledger.com. Uh, even though they have the ledger logo here and it looks very official, uh, it looks very timely uh, because it says security advisory November of 2025 and we're only in November 4th. So of course it's going to catch your attention. Uh, so they're claiming that there are quantum computing developments uh, they're reaching out to inform us of significant developments in quantum computing that have implications for blockchain cryptography. It says here uh, on October 30th, 2025, researchers demonstrated that quantum systems can now feasibly compromise elliptic curve cryptography used in most, most blockchain networks. Um, this is a partial truth. Um, it's mostly false. Um, it says uh, feasibly, uh, which means it's a possibility, uh, but it is a complete falsehood that uh, elliptic curve cryptography is under any immediate threat of quantum computers. Um, there, it's mostly hype. And then it says Ledger has been monitoring quantum com computing developments. Uh, they're now releasing new firmware that implements hybrid cryptographic schemes combining classical and post-quantum security. Now, each Ledger device has its own firmware version. I don't even know if this corresponds to any of the Ledger device's uh, current firmware, uh, but this is just misdirection. It's making you think that there is a new update that's available and uh, it needs to be implemented now. Uh, so they're uh, playing upon your fears and they're trying to convince you that there is an immediate threat uh, to ledger devices from quantum computing, which there is not. This is a very, very long-term threat. And, uh, and if you stick around, we'll talk about uh, the viability of quantum threats to cryptography towards the end of the video. But I'll just say right now that there is no immediate threat to the ledger device. And uh, they're trying to convince us that um, Ledger has met this threat, this non-existent threat, uh, with a firmware release, some arbitrary number which doesn't even correspond to uh, Ledger's firmware. If there was a new, a new firmware update, um, it would be specific to your device, 
And uh, you should be aware that firmware updates will always be presented to you from within Ledger Live. They're never going to send you an email. Uh, so of course, they're gonna tell you uh, to click this button to update your device. Um, and you'll see when we click it, it's going to take us uh, to something that looks like uh, Ledger Live, but is not. You can see this is running in a web browser, right? And then when you click firmware update, uh, and uh, I went ahead and connected my device. Uh, I have a device that doesn't really have any crypto on it, just laying around. Um, it's pretending to update the firmware, but you can see from my device that nothing is happening on the device. Um, it's just <coughs> pretending to update the firmware. And of course, after the pretend firmware update, it asks you to enter your seed phrase. So uh, just to go over this scam, um, it's going to make you think that quantum technology is a threat to a ledger device. It's going to uh, try to convince you that there is a, a fix available from ledger. And then it's going to ask you to run this update and connect your device. And it will pretend to update your firmware. And then of course it will tell you that you need to enter your seed phrase. You will never be asked to enter your seed phrase into a computer interface. That's not the way Ledger devices work. If you need to do a restore or recovery, then uh, you will enter those words uh, directly on your device. Ledger Live will never ever ask you to enter a seed phrase typing in from your keyboard. It just does not work like that. So please do not fall for this scam. So uh, a couple of quantifiers I just wanted to cover real quick. Uh, this is the Ledger Open uh, that was took place in Paris a couple of weeks ago. I was there. I had a great time. Um, and this is Charles Guillaume, the CTO of Ledger. And uh, I'm going to put a link to this panel down in the description. Uh, this is a five and a half hour video. So I put a timed link down in the description so you can uh, watch this panel. Um, it's a great uh, technical panel with Charles and a couple of other professors from universities that are involved in highly uh, specialized cryptography. Uh, Matthew Green from Alio, uh, founding scientist, uh, Charles Guillaume from Ledger, and Ian Myers uh, from Alio and Zcash. So I highly recommend that you watch this panel um, from Ledger Live Open. It's only about 20 minutes long. Uh, but Charles says something very interesting. He says, I, to be honest, I'm not really worried about seeing quantum computers. My bet would be that I'm not even sure I will see a quantum computer able to break modern cryptography in my lifetime. That would be my bet. Um, and the other panel, uh, and the other panelists agreed that quantum computers will most likely not be, uh, available in our lifetime. I'm also going to link to this video, Quantum Computing Tech's Longest Running Hoax. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, some people disagree with this video, uh, but this video brings up a lot of great points about quantum technology, um, how it's built mostly on hype and uh, media hype, and uh, that there are a lot of companies raising millions or not or even billions of dollars from people that are interested in this technology, claiming that great breakthroughs are just around the corner. But there have been similar claims by other companies since the late 1990s. So uh, this video does a great job of explaining exactly how quantum technology works using qubits and how quantum computers are built and how difficult they are um, and how unstable they are, and how the current computers that are uh, currently running have really not done anything practical at this point. Uh, so please don't get caught up in all this quantum hype. Check out this video. It's about 20 minutes long, and it will um, debunk a lot of the hype that you've been hearing about quantum computers. Uh, so please stay safe out there. And uh, the most important thing you should take away from this video is that uh, you should never, ever enter your seed phrase into a uh, computer interface or give it out to someone over the phone 
or type it into your phone or anything like that. Uh, seed phrases are secret. They should be kept secret and separate from everything else you're using. And they're only needed when you're going to restore a device. And in that case, you would only enter the seed phrase directly on the device. They are never required for any kind of security update. Security updates will always be done uh, from within Ledger Live by connecting your device directly. See, um, you would only do security updates from within Ledger Live in the My Ledger section by connecting your device. Please don't ever get tricked into trying to uh, do a firmware update through a web browser or uh, by entering your seed phrase into your computer. Uh, this is a complete scam and um, I hope after watching this video that you will not be convinced if you see this email in your inbox. If you have any questions about anything I said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.